This is Cape Cod, Massachusetts, a place that inspired one of cinema's most iconic films and possibly defined a species for a generation. It's a place that's become synonymous with great white sharks. It did not take long to see why they are drawn here. Gray seals can be found along the whole coastline, but it wasn't always that way. In the 1800s, legal bounty hunts made gray seals extinct at the local level. In fact, throughout the 20th century, populations remained extremely low along the eastern seaboard. It wasn't until the hunting and killing of seals was outlawed in Massachusetts in the 1960s and in the entire country in 1972 via the Marine Mammal Protection Act that seals began to recolonize the region. This is a region with a large amount of biodiversity. Much of it, as I discovered, visible from the air. All of it beautiful. But of course, I came here to see one particular species. Great white sharks. Filming them from above in Cape Cod, much like filming them in California, was a learning experience. Almost immediately, I noticed a different type of environment for the sharks and a completely different perspective from the local community than what I experience on the West Coast. While the sharks are just as close to shore in Cape Cod as they are in California, the general attitude of the public is one of more caution than what I experience in California. Shark sightings are treated with much more caution here. Generally speaking, my observations indicate that size may have a little bit to do with this sentiment. In California, I observe mainly juvenile sharks in the 6 to 10 foot range. Although some of the largest sharks on the planet can be found in California, rarely do I see a 12 to 14 foot shark like this one this close to shore. This is why warning signs are prominent around the beaches of Cape Cod. There are large sharks near shore here, likely due to their pursuit of seals, a favorite meal for sharks of this size. Because these sharks are so close to shore, they offer an incredible opportunity for scientists to gather data that can provide essential information to the public. Current research is focused on white shark movement and behavior with a special emphasis on public safety. This is a region that has experienced shark encounters that resulted in both death and injury in the past. So monitoring sharks here is of great importance to the local community, especially in the peak of summer. This is why, almost daily, scientists in Cape Cod take to the skies with spotter planes, utilize technology, and gather data about the local shark populations. Part of that research is the deployment of real-time acoustic receiver buoys along Cape Cod's coast. I filmed the deployment of the latest buoy, designed to monitor the occurrence and movements of tagged sharks in real time. These buoys are proving to be a valuable asset in research and public awareness. They register acoustic signatures of tagged sharks once the sharks come within the buoy's signal range and immediately send a notification to scientists, local beach officials, and the Sharktivity app. This lets both the public and scientists know when a tagged shark is nearby. Each buoy is strategically placed along the coast, essentially forming an array of detection points. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy, along with lead scientist Megan Winton, seen identifying a shark here, works together with the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries to gather data on local shark populations. Though not every shark is tagged, the notifications are provided to raise awareness about the presence of white sharks off the coast during the summer and the fall. Before a shark is tagged, identifying footage of each shark is captured and cataloged. Both sides of the shark are photographed prior to the shark tagging attempt. Lead scientist Dr. Greg Scomo of the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries conducts the primary functions of this process. Once he photographs a shark, the team moves in to place an acoustic tag near shark's dorsal fin. 
Each shark equipped with an acoustic tag is cataloged and ID'd by the team of local scientists. A catalog of the tagged sharks, their profiles, and their location history is now available to the public via the Sharktivity app and the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy's website. Using both spotter planes and drones, placing a tag is now much more efficient and much more non-invasive than many other methods. Once the tag is placed, Dr. Scomo and the team photograph the shark once again for further verification and identification. Attaching acoustic tags externally does not require shark's dorsal fin to be mutilated or damaged and does not require fishing or lifting the shark out of the water. Acoustic tags have a battery life of almost a decade and are very effective in tracking sharks locally over many years. As more and more white sharks visit the coast of Cape Cod, the work of local scientists, along with local citizen scientists, is proven to be a valuable asset to both research and public safety along Cape Cod's coast. If you'd like to sponsor a buoy, or even sponsor a shark tag, please visit the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy's website in the video description below. Please also consider a donation to AWSC using the donation button next to the video to further support great white shark research along the Cape Cod coast. I certainly look forward to returning to Cape Cod in the future, so stay tuned.